Hi, and welcome back to Top Tens. My name is Shannon, and today we're talking about the 10 units of measurement you've never heard of by Ian Forty. For most of the world, the metric system does a good job with measuring weights and distances. The US is still struggling along with imperial measures, but most folks seem happy measuring their height based on the length of a foot of a king who died in England hundreds of years ago, or so one story of the origin of the foot goes. Regardless of what method you use, there are common units like miles or kilometers, but there are also some much more obscure units of measure out there, measuring things you've never imagined. Number 10. A smoot is equal to 5 feet 7 inches. In 2011, the people of the internet discovered the smoot when Google Earth allowed users to measure distances using it. It was nestled right between nautical miles and degrees on a drop-down menu of measures with no explanation whatsoever. Few people knew what it was, and so it inspired blog posts and a little bit of research from the curious. The smoot was named for Oliver Smoot. It measures Smoot's height, which is 5 feet and 7 inches. In 1958, Mr. Smoot was at MIT and pledging a fraternity there. As part of the ritual humiliation that goes along with pledging a frat, Smoot had to do something dumb. He, along with other pledges, were taken to a bridge and told they needed to measure the length of it, but one of them had to be the ruler. That ruler was Smoot, so every one of him that it took to span the bridge was one Smoot in length. Smoot lay down on the bridge and someone marked the top of his head with chalk. He got up and laid down on the chalk mark and they measured again and so forth. The bridge ended up being 364.4 Smoots long plus an ear, so it took a while. Number nine, a butt is an old timey way to measure wine. You may have heard someone in passing referred to a large quantity of anything as a buttload. For instance, if you walked into a room and you saw 100 cats, you might say, that's a buttload of cats. It sounds like a sanitized but semi-dirty way of referring to a lot, but it isn't. A butt is a real measurement. A butt is equal to two hog's head, which is just as unhelpful as saying one butt, but at least it's colorful. A hog's head is a barrel, and you can buy them for whiskey right now if you want. One hog's head is 250 liters or 66 gallons. That means a butt is 500 liters or 132 gallons. That, in turn, means a buttload is a lot, and that's backed by science. But doesn't mean the but we think of in this case. It's a very old word that comes to English by way of Italian and French where it originally meant boot. The Italian word boot is still used for wine. The other fun thing about butts and hogsheads is that they're not always consistent in size. For instance, while one source sells a hogshead at 66 gallons, others list it as 54 gallons. That should make a butt 108 gallons, but in the US, it's 126 gallons. Now you know why no one uses it as a measurement. Number eight, slug is a unit of mass. Slugs aren't just slimy guys living under dead logs. They're also units of measurement. Slug is a unit to measure mass and works out to about 32.2 pounds or 32.17 at sea level. What do you measure with slugs? You need to get into physics for that. A pound is the force required to accelerate one slug at one foot per second squared. This is something you'll never need to know if you don't know it already. Number seven. The word Megadeth refers to nuclear death tolls. Have you ever heard of the 80s metal band Megadeth? Their name is, well, metal, very metal. So metal that probably few people ever wondered where it came from because it sounds like the kind of compound word any metalhead in the 80s might have come up with after a night of beers with buddies. But that's not the case. Megadeth is not a made up band name, it's a unit of measurement, which by definition is now the most metal ever. When you're a person who has to predict the aftermath of nuclear wars, you come up with some weird business jargon, and that's what happened here. A megadeth is a unit of measure used to describe deaths in millions after a potential nuclear explosion. If Chicago has a population of 2.6 million and it was obliterated by a nuke, then your fatalities clock in at 2.6 megadeths. Now, you might be asking yourself, why would anyone use this incredibly ridiculous term to minimize the death toll of a horrible atrocity well, you might have answered it at the same time. Number six, a cool is a measure of surreality. People tend to overuse the word surreal when describing pretty much anything that isn't completely mundane. Trips are surreal, getting a job is surreal, and meeting a celebrity is surreal. In basic terms, the word just means something weird or bizarre, but more properly, it should refer to something that seems separated from reality, like a dreamscape. Surreal things are not rational. Because surreal is a quality you can ascribe to a thing, someone came up with a unit of surreal measurement. This seems appropriate since, as mentioned, people often call fairly non-surreal things surreal as well. 
How can you tell the difference between boring surreal and really, really surreal? Use the cool. Cools are not technically real forms of measurement, since for surreality, this is all theoretical stuff anyway. The creation of the cool is part of an absurdist look at how bad search engines are. A cool is one level of abstraction away from reality, so each cool is one additional level of absurdity from what should be normal. Cool was a search engine from 2008. It had indexed 120 billion web pages and was supposed to be a rival to Google. It lasted until 2010, which is impressive considering how bad it was. This is where Cool the measurement came into play because Cool the search provided such nonsensical and irrelevant results that it became a joke that it was so absurd as to be surreal. Just how far from what you wanted to see could Cool get? And so a joke form of measurement was born that spawned Cool theory, which you can read about if you like very bizarre stuff. Five. A noggin is either a half pint or a quarter pint. If you're the sort of person who likes to drink but also has a keen interest in how much they're drinking, then you may be aware of the noggin. A noggin is a unit of measurement that works out to about half a pint, except when it doesn't. It was also a quarter pint for a while, and then they upgraded it. It's also the same thing as a gill. None of this is confusing, right? A noggin is also equal to 142 cubic centimeters, which is about 0.6 cups. That's also 4.8 ounces, so just over three shots worth. It's honestly hard to tell what anyone was measuring with noggins, and they were probably drunk while doing it. Number four, Parankasuma is how far a reindeer can walk before it needs to pee. Did you know that reindeer cannot walk and pee? That's significant for Finnish reindeer herders because it gave rise to the measurement called the Parankasuma. One parankasima is the distance a reindeer can travel before it needs to pee. It's about 7.5 kilometers or 4.7 miles. The fact that this remains so remarkably consistent that they could set a measurement by it is pretty impressive when you think about it. Translated to English, parankasima means roughly reindeer piss. So that makes sense. It's not clear if anything else measured in parankasima would be useful, but Maybe if you go on a long hike, you can tell a buddy it's gonna be six reindeer peas and they'll have a rough idea when to expect you. Number three, a Millie Helen is a tongue-in-cheek measurement of beauty. Scientists often have a geeky sense of humor and that led to the creation of the Millie Helen, which is a unit of beauty measurement. The Helen here is Helen of Troy, who according to legend was quite beautiful. The face that launched a thousand ships, they called her. Appropriately then, Mila Helens deal with the beauty needed to launch a thousand ships where one single Helen gets the job done and a less beautiful Helen must deal in the Mila Helen fractions. One Mila Helen can launch one ship and is, of course, metric. 500 would be considered an average, and at this point, you realize it's just being used to grade women's looks on a 1 to 10 scale. Whether the myth of Helen's beauty was referring to literal ships or some metaphorical ones, if you catch our meaning, is up to debate. Number two. A micromorph measures a one in a million risk of death. We covered the horror of a mega death already, but there's another cutesy horror in the world of death, and that's the micromort. Isn't it adorable? Like a tiny little grim reaper. While a mega death is one million deaths, a micromort deals with the risk of death, and in this case, one micromort equals a one in a million chance to die. One study during COVID-19 suggested that deaths from illicit drugs rose to one micromort per day, up from the 0.5 the year before. Outside of COVID, micromorts have been around since the 1980s to offer a shorter way to say, you have a one in a million chance of being eaten by wild dogs or whatever the long shot death might be. For instance, your chance of dying while scuba diving? That's five micromorts. Pretty low. Base jumping is 430 micromorts, though. In terms of nuclear war deaths, because why not discuss that, it was determined that your chances of dying from a nuke in London, England in 2022 were about 0 0.01 micromorts. So, you know, probably not happening. Also, in case you're wondering, on any given day, the risk for the average young adult is one micromort. A Batman is a unit of measurement from the Ottoman Empire. The single greatest unit of measure in mankind's history is the Batman. A Batman weighs 16.7 pounds, so it's clearly not the bulked up Christian Bale version. It also dates back to the 14th century, so that makes it closer to Adam West, although my personal favorite is Michael Keaton. Used in Central Asia, there are many regional Batmans of varying sizes, 
As one of many units of measure, it fit into the trade of the day much like a bushel or a kilogram, or something else might work today. Many smaller measures could be added up to make a botman, and no doubt a few botmans added to something even bigger like a dark side or some such. So anyway, that's the end of top 10 weird units of measurement. Thanks for joining us. Like, subscribe, comment, tell me what I pronounced incorrectly despite researching this, and have a good day.